Was that real what I just watched? Oh boy, Rangers win, baby. Five to one over the Pittsburgh Penguins. The best win of the season, and I can confidently say that. Don't need to hesitate at all. I cannot believe the response. Gerard Gallant, qu me questioning the lineup decisions? Well, who am I? Who is this jerk off? Because Gallant's lines actually worked. The Rangers went out there, played a full 60. They responded. Just the most perfect effort that we've been asking for all season long and they did it they did it so claps up for the rangers for finally giving us what we've been waiting for all season long you're getting constantly good shifts just it was all rangers this game the penguins barely even had chances there Sidney crosby was he even in the, the arena tonight was he even at the garden that guy did not do anything tonight tristan jari Better than Igor Shosturkin? Yeah, okay. I don't know if anyone's actually said that, but just in case, you never know. I'm fired up. I am fired up. Before we do get into the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Uh, and yeah, subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. We recap every single Ranger game here on the channel, win or lose. And when the wins happen... I'm just so hyped like this. When the losses happen, it's definitely the complete opposite, and I'm losing my mind. But I'm definitely on a high today after that one. And also turn the notifications on so you know when I upload. But my God. What did I watch? Just where where's this been all year? Where? Where's this been? Just I cannot believe it. I don't even have to waste any time before announcing the first goal. They get straight into it. Alexi Lafreniere scores. I think it was five on Tristan Jari. Beautiful pass by Philip Hedl. Absolute money. The Lafreniere, who's alone in front of the net at that point, he buries it. Barkley Goudreau picks up an apple too. And the Rangers early go up one to nothing. And the second line before that? Great shift. Unreal shift from both from all lines, honestly, before that. And then Truba with a great chance after. And it's not too long where Chris Kreider says, yeah, let me get on the board as he scores a bit after you of a pass from Mika Zibanejad. And Kreider buries that one. And the Rangers uh, go up two to nothing. And then not too long after that, Frank Vitrano with his first at MSG, his first, somewhat first goal as a Ranger because he had an empty netter from Zabanajad and Kreider. Another beautiful pass by Mika Zabanajad. His passes were on all game. And this pass, what a beaut. What a beaut of a pass. Then you have Kreider winning, it, winning a board battle there too before that. Beautiful. Then not too long after, you have a play that gets reviewed because the Penguins start whacking at Igor Shesterkin even though he covered the puck. I don't know when these refs are going to learn to blow the whistles when the goalie covers the puck, but it's getting ridiculous that this is becoming a thing that I'm talking about every single game. I don't want to be talking about this every single game. It's pissing me off. Thankfully, it was called no goal. If they called that a goal, I would have been pissed. Then Crosby, towards the end of this period, takes a uh, penalty as the refs. Yeah, they're not going to help you there. Help the lap dog out there. And how about this power play? They didn't score on it, but the second line doing something or the second power play unit doing something. My God, it, I couldn't believe what I saw. The second unit was actually getting scoring opportunities. And that second unit ended up being Frank Vetrano, Andrew Kopp, Alexi Lafreniere, Philip Heedle, and Jacob Truba. Maybe the Rangers found something with the second unit there. And maybe if it could get going a bit, you know? And then unfortunately, towards the end of the period, Dryden Hunt takes a stupid penalty. Uh, where he was... Before that, though, there was another time where I thought he was held behind the net. Nothing called there. But Ryan Hunt, stupid penalty, and it ends up being a double minor high stick because there's blood. And 
I thought for sure, I was like, here we go. This is where the momentum's gonna die. Pittsburgh's gonna score a goal or two. And then here we go. We're gonna let them come back into the game. But they didn't. But they didn't. The Rangers kill the penalty. How about, how about Tyler Mott on the PK there? Unreal work there. They had scoring opportunities too short-handed. Jory ended up going in the trapezoid there, short-handed. Something was called there, which was uh, very weird to me. I ended up rewinding just to make sure I wasn't crazy. But regardless, great period by the Rangers. 11-5 to five shots in favor of them for the period. Arguably their best period of the year. Arguably. Maybe not even arguably. I think it was. And who knows what the score would have been if they didn't take that penalty there. Or if Dryden Hunt didn't. Then early in the second, you have Nemeth with a nice little defensive play. And the Rangers were pressing early. It looked like, okay, here we go. Kreider with some scoring chances. And Aaron, he had some scoring chances. All right. And then Igor takes a delay a game penalty, believe it or not. Tries to give a nice outlet pass to dump it out of the zone. And yeah, uh... He ends up launching it into the crowd instead, and the Penguins go on a power play. And thankfully, it didn't matter because Chris Kreider, who Steve Valaket said is maybe putting up an argument for the MVP, beautiful chef's kiss, beautiful pass again from Mika Zibanejad, and the Rangers go up four to nothing. And then Kreider with a strong play before that to set that all up. And then Tristan Jari, see you later. You're done for the game. For a bit. But the passes, my God, they were on point all night. Panarin, beautiful pass to Barkley Goudreau afterwards. Doesn't capitalize. But just beautiful, hate the tape passes that we haven't seen all year. And then the Smith ends up getting hurt from Dumoulin. So he's done for the night. Jari comes back in. The Rangers, I'm sure, were rubbing their hands together, thinking, oh, baby. Igor comes up with a big save on Crosby, the fourth line with a strong shift within the same sequence there. My God, Igor with those saves. And the Rangers finish the second period, out shooting the Penguins 13 to 8 there. Love to see that. Then the third period was kind of quiet more. The Rangers, I thought, played well, but... Definitely was the worst period out of the few, but they still just were playing such great defensive hockey. Patrick Nemeth takes a penalty. I didn't even look, and I just knew. I knew Patrick Nemeth took the penalty when it, they called a roughing penalty. And the Penguins end up capitalizing on it. It's Jeff Carter from Kapanen and Hayden. At first, the goal was credited to Kapanen, but they ended up seeing that Carter tipped in front of the net. Embarrassing that Fox and Linger did literally nothing in front of the net there. Embarrassing. You gotta try. One of them has to tie him up there. And unfortunately, it ends Igor's shutout. And how many times this year has Igor had a game where he's let up just one goal? And then, how about Vetrano getting robbed? Robbed by a glove save from Jari. I think it was Pandaren with the pass, or was it? I don't even remember who it was. Beautiful pass, though. Across the Vitrano. Doesn't bury it. Then not too long after Lafreniere and Hedl on a two-on-one. Lafreniere couldn't capitalize on it. The fourth line, though. How about them looking good all game? Johnny Broadway with a strong shift in the uh, third period. He gets a breakaway opportunity. One T opportunity. Dryden Hunt in front of the net. Getting an opportunity for a tip-in. And then, towards the end of the period, Andrew Kopp with his first as a Ranger. Ricard Raquel, who? How about that? From Panarin and Strom. And the Ranger, beautiful pass. Just Panarin in the corner. Beautiful, quick look before he got to the puck. Beautiful pass in front of that Andrew Kopp. He's all happy. And the Rangers hold on to win this. Shots in that period, 9-8 to eight in favor of the Rangers. In total for the game, 33-21 to 21 in favor of the Rangers. Face-off dot, eh, not pretty there. 62-38 to 38 in favor of Pittsburgh. 
Uh, hits 24 to 25 in favor of the Rangers. Blocks uh, 18 to 13 in favor of the Rangers. And giveaway 7 for the Penguins, 6 for the Rangers. So, my God, a complete game for once. It, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to see. We've been waiting for this all year. Waiting for all year. Each individual line. So tonight we saw new lines, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and maybe you didn't watch the game or maybe you didn't notice, but we got new lines today. So the first line ended up being instead with Lafreniere on it, it ended up being Kreider, Zabajad, and Vitrano. And I was given a lot of hate for this line, but my God, did it look good. They had so many great opportunities. And of course, Mika was on point all game. And of course they scored. Definitely the best line of the night, but that's even hard to say considering how good each line was. Every line should have scored tonight. It sucks that the fourth line didn't, but they could have. They were so good tonight, though. The second line tonight ended up being Panarin, Strom, and Andrew Kopp. Another just great line tonight. Really great line tonight. Loved it. And maybe uh, Kopp needs to be playing with Panarin, huh? Just maybe. And they had a lot of great scoring opportunities, too. Third line, too. Ended up being Lafreniere, Hedl, Goudreau. I didn't like that they did put Lafreniere there on the third line, but it worked. Shut me up. It worked. And you're finally seeing a scenario where the Rangers can roll out all four lines because the fourth line, too. I don't want Dryden Hunt playing. Don't get me wrong. When Kevin Rooney comes back, yeah, Dryden Hunt, smell you later. But... Tyler Mott, he is unreal. We only got him for a fourth round pick. <laughs> unreal. Unreal pickup. How about Johnny Broadway with some good chances too? Especially in that third period. Dryden Hunt, dumb penalty. Bit of a rough game for him, but it is what it is. It is what it is because that line still was pretty solid. And the Rangers are in a scenario right now where they can roll out all four lines. And imagine when Rooney and Kako come back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know how they're going to do the line combinations, but my God, it's going to be tough. But you'd have to imagine Brzezinski and Hunt are the odd man's out at that point. And then for the defense, Lindgren and Fox, they had that one misplay. But other than that, better performance than what we've seen from them recently. So I'm not going to complain there. Miller and Truba. Really good game from Truba. I love what I saw from Truba. He was all over the ice, throwing the body around. Loved it. Loved it. And then the bottom pair. Oh, Patrick Nemeth and Brainschneider. Patrick Nemeth. Solid game from him, surprisingly. And Brainschneider just has to be playing. He just has to. He is good. He is so good. And he was getting some scoring opportunities too, believe it or not. He should have more points than he does. His passing ability, it's unreal. I love this kid, Brain Schneider, so much, man. I love Schneids. And then Igor with a great game as well. And I cannot believe how much I was proven wrong tonight. But I am so happy. Let's get to Twitter. Ryan says, can you sleep peacefully now? Yes. Yes, I could. Because I'm not joking. The past two nights, three nights, were rough. They were rough after that loss. That loss against New Jersey did not sit well with me whatsoever. It didn't. But I could definitely sleep peacefully now. Thank you for the concern, Ryan. Nwear10 says, thoughts on Igor's performance tonight? And people said that he was washed and that he was in a slump. How about him saying, shut stupid face to all those people? How about it? It's amazing what happens when the team in front of him actually performs better, huh? New York South 24, they proved you wrong. What a win. I'll be the first to admit when I'm proven wrong. I'll be the first to admit when I'm wrong, especially about something that I want to be proven wrong about. I want them to, and I'm happy that they did. Best game of the year. Best game of the year. It's simple as that. The Rangers are still in third place, unfortunately, but they're only one point behind Pittsburgh, and they still have two more games against Pittsburgh. So you do have some chances here to take that second place spot, maybe sneak in the first because you have some games against Carolina still. Who knows what happens there? But you still have a game in hand on Pittsburgh. So 
You still? So never mind. I thought that we tied them up in games. But, um... Or they tied us up in games is what I meant before with their last game. But I guess not. So I will take it. The Rangers just need one win to get there. And maybe Carolina they could surpass in the standings. Who knows? But I'm not going to get ahead of myself. I'm happy about this win. Please just go out there and do something like this again. I don't. I need a full 60, of course. I, I'll take it. But give me. Give me. Four games like this. All I ask. All I ask. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Ranger fans. Like I mentioned, turn the notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Let's go, Rangers.